It's showtime. Everybody is the D-Rock the 100 and welcome back to my old Pokemon Alpha Sapphire! Last time! We finally arrived at Lily Cove City after turning through Route 121 right here. And this time, we're heading into the Safari Zone. I saved this a whole episode just for this. Welcome to the Safari Zone. Admittance is free. Catch all the Pokemon you can. Dress up with Pokemon for as long as time allows. Oh boy! Finally! A Safari Zone that's actually kind towards you in terms of time limits. We have some new Pokemon for us to find. And I mean a lot of Pokemon to find. So let's get started, shall we? Here we go. First up, Dojuo. Dojuo is a very fast and agile and normal flying type that somehow can learn fly. This is a very frail Pokemon to say the least. If you want one by all means, it's right here. They are caught at decently high levels. But what it has in all that, it really lacks in the, in the bulkiness. Honestly, you can do worse at this, but yeah, there are better normal flying types out there. I like it, but it's very frail. Next up is Psyduck. Psyduck is a pure water type with a very interesting ability. The only real good thing that I can say about it is that, well, it's a Decent kind of water type that I think a mini can actually do worse with. Honestly, if you want one, it can be hard to raise, but it is recommended that you have at least a water type for the for this for the journey. But I can't really say that this is a really good one to go for. It's not bad, but it kind of falls short on on how good it is. Next up is Giraffering! Giraffering is a very nice Pokemon with a unique typing of a normal and psychic. Meaning it holds a, not only a ghost immunity, but it also takes a normal damage from fighting. In fact, fun trivia, it's Giraffering spelled backwards! I just blew your mind. <laughs> anyway, um, honestly, Giraffering is a really nice um, a psychic type that can learn some really nice moves. It's balanced, and it's very decent. If you want one, it's right here. Be mindful that plenty of his really good psychic type moves are either through tutoring or from latent at our levels. Next up is Zatu. Zatu is a psychic flying type, but that's kind of the same reason for Giraffe Rake. It's not too bad. The only real negative that I have with it is that it's hard to train with. But that doesn't mean that that is a non-unusable. Oh no, it is very usable. As long as the correct standards are made. It can it be nice. And if you need a decent flying type, this is a really good one. Next up, Wabafet. If you didn't bother her to race her that her, a little why not from before, this is the only time that you're ever going to be able hey, to get one. Honestly, if you're not going to use this uh, for double battles, don't even bother catching this thing. It is always going to have one of the moves to counter her Destiny Bomb, Mirror Coat, and Safeguard. It was a mistake that everyone talked about. Why not? This is a Pokemon that's ex 
extremely recommended for double battles. You can counter it against uh, all physical and special hits with the right move sets, but all around, not bad. Next up, the very first Pokemon ever created, Rhyhorn. Honestly, Rhyhorn's a really good Pokemon. Unfortunately, in this particular location, it's lacking in the how good it really is department. I can't really say a lot of bad things about it being a ground and rock type. Plus, if you want one, it is a really good Pokemon, and I believe it should have the move Mega Horn through tutoring. You can't go wrong with a hard hitting bull that knows how to use its horn well. Once again, don't read too much into that. Next up, Heracross. Heracross is a monster. A bug fighting type that doesn't evolve, but hits very hard. Don't give this thing any good special moves because if that special stat, or the special attack stat, is kind of on the lacking side, but again, not bad. If you want one, by all means, it's right here. The only real negative that I have is that it has a major weakness to flying. If you want to have a really good bug type, or even a good fighting type for that matter, you can't go wrong with something like this. Truth be told, go for any kind of bug type, that's this one. Next up, Dawn Fan. Dawn Fan! It's a very slow, pure ground type. Is it any good? It's actually pretty decent. It's bulky, and it knows some really good moves later on, like rollout. You can't go wrong in a boy with something this good. The only real negative that I have with it is that, once again, it's slow, but I say this thing has a really good potential of really being a good bulky ground type, but in this game, be mindful that you will be facing off against some really dangerous foes later on. But if you can get by all that, great hit Pokemon. Finally, oh my god. Pinsir! Pinsir! Same rules apply for this one, but unlike Heracross, it's just a pure bug type with some amazing and physical attack stats. This is a very underrated Pokemon, but honestly, you could do worse with this thing. If you want one, it's right here. It's kind of hard to catch though, but thanks to the new steps that this Safari Zone has added, you can actually weaken them a little bit to make them easier to catch. Pinsir's great, especially for a Hyper Cutter for the ability. Okay. This is the reason for why I saved the Safari Zone for an episode completely on its own because of how many Pokemon that we can find out here. But maybe you're wondering why we're not talking about Pikachu. I've already talked about Pikachu from before. <laughs> I just blew your mind. What's kind of weird though is that there's a few locations from. There's a few locations out here that. Looks like it requires us to have. Both of them. Okay. Okay. There's a reason I'm actually out here, personally. Mainly due to the fact that out here, like I said, we can't find Pikachus out here, but if I looked at it correctly, the Pikachu said that are out here have a low chance of holding a very important diamond that I want to try to find it. Try to find. And unfortunately this one don't have one. The item that I'm looking for is a held item that's called the the um, light ball. For those of you that don't know, the light ball is an exclusive um, item that can only be held by Pikachu. It will double its special attack stats just by having it being equipped with said Pikachu onto the battlefield. Let me see if I can maybe find one through this. Maybe. Yes! Yes! 
one. Yes! Did it take you long? I just thought we were gonna be here for a while. I'll take that! Yes! I should also take the time to mention that when you breed a Pikachu that is holding the light ball, its baby Pokemon, come on, Pichu, will also become an arm for with the move Vault Tackle. Let me see here. Uh. Um. Excuse me. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that Mighty Yen is holding it. I'll take that. Now. My good friend, you have earned yourself. Oh, it double. It doubles as attack and special attack side. Never mind. I am actually incorrect on that one. It's amazing how these uh, text boxes can actually be of some good help to us. Well, anyway. I want to show up the rest of the place if you haven't been paying attention from the top. There are some locations out here that we can only access it with the U of specific bikes. If you also have noticed it from the top and right center for when I was talking about my Pokemon, I also have found the Pokemon who move a Solar Beam, a two turn charge here attack that does some incredible damage. It's it's really nice for the moves of Sunny Day. Since it will charge out the move in one turn. Rather than him just uh, winning for two turns. Oh. There it is. Ultra Ball. Let's see. Oh. You know what? Let's just do it. Pincer! I might as well have a little fun out here. I'm not going to plan on using any of these Pokemon on my team because I'm a full team of six. But I like catching some rare Pokemon. You won't find a Pincer anywhere else. Oh! Mold Breaker. This is basically an anti ability. So, give me, 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 what? Crap. Ha! You missed me! I'll go and use a thief on you. I shall thief you to death! Oh, crud. Ooh! Even with a non-same type attack bonus, that hurts! It has a really high physical attack stat, like you saw from right there. One, two, three, click. Really nice ability of Mold Breaker. I actually did consider him maybe using a pincer on my team, but I ultimately decided against it because I already have an idea for a really good physical attackers. Plus, I like to use Pokemon that are kind of underrated. I know I did say that Pinsir is somewhat underrated, but, prawn, but not as underrated as some of the other Pokemon that we've seen. What do you say? You know, the coast was a safari zone, but it's really no different than any wild area. There's, there are no cages or walls. The Pokemon are free to come and go as they like. Now, while we're up here, this is something that I always find to be such a complete bother. There's so many locations that you can access with the mock bike, and yet, this right here is an example. We also need the acro bike in order to even get up here. I have no idea for why that is, but it is completely asinine. Well, anyway. I think it's a 
about time that we had changed things up a bit. Why? Because we're not gonna switch out to the Acro bike. And of course, uh, like we've learned from before, if you ever want to use different bikes, you have to switch it out in this game. Alright. I'm gonna switch out the team a little bit. My Diana has a, done her job perfectly. So let's find our shop, which is right here. Oh, we think I switch the bikes? Okay, no problem. Are you ready to switch bikes? Yes. We now have the Acro Bike. It's really stupid that there's several locations out in the Safari Zone that we don't have access to unless you have one bike over the other. But there's also a couple of bikes that from also those that we need both. I don't know why they did that, but like I said, it is completely asinine. Let's just fly back to the Safari Zone and show off the rest of the place. Going in. So now that we got our Acro Bike, we can hold down the B button. We can do some uh, funky stuff on this thing. And we can also ride around on these, and if you hold, use the D-pad, press the B button at the same time, we'll be able to come across here with no problem. I believe over here, we have an item of interest for us. Once we come across this body of water right here. Here we go. See, this way here's what I mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Horn encounter. Hi. I thought I had a repel up. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. How am I supposed to get that if I don't have the mock bike? It's let's see here. Unless if there's something that I'm missing. But uh, I'll have to look into that later. Maybe when I come back at a later time, I'll be able to, to get access to those items, because... I never truly figured this one out. Okay. If you guys want to tell me about what I'm missing in the comments down below, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay. Well, anyway... Weird head thing set aside. What's just carry on? Interest for us over here. Kind of want to say that is. What do we got? Oh, it's a Dawn fan. You know what? Why not? Safari. Whoa, hold on. As I was saying, since this is a Safari Zone, we might as well make some good use out of it. Dedicating a whole episode into the Safari Zone. Why the heck not? Click.
see here. John Van were to tackle with his hard body, even a house could be destroyed. Using his massive strength, the Pokemon helps clear rocks and mudslides at Bark Mountain Trails. Nice. Let's see here. Okay. Still got plenty more in here at this place to explore. But once again, I don't know why they did this. But, yeah, this is my biggest complaint on the Safari Zone in this game. Because, back in Emerald, you could potentially have the bike that has both modes. I, I, was it, is it? Actually, I think it's Diamond and Pearl, never mind. Yeah, that's the only real complaint that I have with this. Fortunately, we have another location for us right over here. Anything? I thought there's something over there, but we'll check that out a little bit. I don't think there's anything of interest for us right here. Nope. Here we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. But, what is of interest to us? Right over here! Absolite! We have encountered Absolites before, so. Yeah, never mind. We probably know how extremely dangerous these things really are. Oh boy. Oh, is there anything over here that. Yes! Max Revive! Alright, there's just a little bit more here for us to, to explore. Catching Pokemon here in the Survivor Zone? As long as, long as you take care of them. Rare Candy! What do you say? Both rare Pokemon and common Pokemon can be found here, but I hope you'll love them both the same. Yeah. I guess as of for right now, that is all the locations that we have that we have access with both bikes at the moment. But I'm looking one to see about how I can get to those accessible areas from before. All right, we mostly came from what we got gotten here for. Oh, no. Hello and welcome. I hope. As you explore, you may see some litter here and there. Sometimes you can spot Pokeballs that have been lying around for years. No one has ever come to claim them, and we collect them for recycling anyway. So feel free to pick them up as you as your own use. Let's see here. You're going to the Safari Zone? You better take either. I'm not going. Ah! That look in your eye, and the aura floating about you? You're one of my kind, aren't you? You make all kinds of mischiefs, right? If so, you're really like this. TM85 Dream Eater! It's because I was so naughty in the past, but lately I don't feel refreshed when I wake up. Then I talk this to my Pokemon, and now all on my bad dreams get eaten up. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, now that we got that taken care of, it's about time that we go ahead and we end things off from right here. I know. Dedicated a whole episode just for the Safari Zone. It must have some very high treatments. Yeah! Next time on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, it's about time now that we do a more exploring around the Lily Cove City and locations that we haven't seen from once before. And 
maybe find out more about what Team Aqua is doing here in the first place, alright? See you guys then.